Hi guys, welcome to the channel, quick general love reading for my friends Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, let's find out together what's coming through for you. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the Love Arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. And we are ready, definitely. So, your energies, guys. Temperance, Major Arcana, and the Ward. Your person's energies, Page of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Meeting Energies, Eight of Swords, Two of Wands, the Focus, Four of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles, Bottom of Deck. Quite a contrast, considering the Focus. The Queen is extremely open to embrace new interactions, the focus is a defensive stand, kinda a protective one. Completion with the word on your side of the energies. The temperance can be a healing process, especially if the past didn't bring satisfactions in your favor well a fairly recent situation because of the word because it's a completion we close a major chapter and we are ready to embrace a brand new one moving forward leaving behind rough waters this is a very quiet energy the six of swords we move forward without making a fuss about anything taking the higher road with the temperance so this person is a, an individual that is indeed brand new because they have not a role in the previous completion the page of wands is an energy about a light-hearted interaction that this person is waiting to embrace so for some of you it is fair to say that you may know this person they may be aware of your journey and the necessities that are related to it and they hope that the chance to interact with you guys comes sooner than later for others this is someone that is going through their journey but they are counting on the fact that the opportunity to encounter a person that can bring Queen of Pentacles vibrations to the table can happen in their favor because maybe they are also capable of um, the understanding and the openness that we can associate to the Queen. So this can be a, a situation that can bring satisfaction in favor of two persons that may look for the same things when it comes to uh, love and love partnerships the temperance again guys wisdom patience as you may know patience is a powerful virtue there is patience also in the seven of pentacles you may have decided to take the higher road if previous situations didn't pay off according to your expectations you know how to seek balance uh, within the interactions that can see you involved uh, you know how to meet other people halfway you are also willing to compromise but as I usually say with the temperance without forgetting the virtues and the values that are important for us kind of the point considering the Queen of Pentacles she has mastered the self lovability she is open uh, to interact with other people but she will 
realize what can be the type of connection that is deserving to receive the gift that she can offer. She has the Ace of Pentacles, uh, after all. The word is an energy about life cycles and life chapters that follow one another. The Eight of Swords seems to be an energy past related. It can be true for the two of you, but it is about something that was not going anywhere, stuck situation. The word comes in and brings completion. So the word is a major arcana that comes with major lessons and the point with the lessons for me is that by going through the experiences we have the opportunity to learn as much as we can and when a new chapter, a new cycle begins we can implement the lessons that we have learned along the road so that we can be more successful because the level of awareness, knowledge and wisdom have been raised, all of them have been raised. This is quite a, quite a turning point. It's kinda like reading a book and embracing the opportunity to turn the page in order to discover what will happen next. But it seems the key to release old situations that were not fulfilling ones. The same can be kinda said about this person because of the Seven of Pentacles. Um, this is a waiting. This man has put in quite a lot of effort in favor of a situation. He knows that it's just a matter of time before he can reap the benefits and the fruits of the previous labor. But he cannot wait. He would love to uh, to collect the reward, but it's a process that cannot be rushed. And so there is a, a silver lining also for some of the persons that will have the opportunity to interact with you guys. The Page of Wands is lovely, is a teeny tiny bit of passion. It can be super meaningful if you know each other already. So this can be a new partner, but not necessarily a new person in your life. It can be a friend because the page of ones is a, a lovely energy. As you may know, the pages for me can be awkward and goofy. This can be a person that can stumble a little bit with their words when they are with you guys, when they interact with you, but they have a sincere interest in favor of the interaction with you. The pages, as awkward and goofy as they can be, uh, still deserve attention. They may have something important to say, to share, or to offer. And there is a touch of maturity because of the Queen of Pentacles that can come also from this person, uh, because maybe they have learned how to display quite a quite an understanding in favor of the connections that they have the chance to embrace in their everyday life. The meeting of the energies, guys, it's an encouragement, I would say, because the focus is on the Four of Pentacles, a uh, protective approach, as we were saying. The man is keeping the pentacle extremely close to his chest, heart chakra, because maybe previous experiences have taught him to do so as the wisest choice. At some point, this mindset, this approach needs to open up so that we can allow opportunities to come in in our favor. Basically, the Four of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords kind of go hand in hand because they are stuck energies. The lady in the Eight of Swords is bounded in a rope, blindfolded, surrounded by swords, which are thoughts, doubts, questions, things that didn't go according to expectations before. What if they happen one more time moving forward? But this is a passive approach and 
we need to shift it because otherwise we are stuck that's why she does not have a clear perception about what's going on the lady needs to go with the water feelings and emotions in order to for example release overwhelming emotions coming from the past and move towards opportunities that can be more promising then a decision comes two of ones soulful decision for me the man is holding the word indeed in his hand so his life and he is willing to evaluate all the factors involved in a situation so that he can make the best possible decision about what comes next this is a decision guys that you will have the opportunity to share with the new person it can be a decision to get to know each other better and better and then at the very least you will have the opportunity to evaluate if you want to take a further step in favor of the connection but it seems a promising process to be honest especially guys if you know each other already so let's pull some oracle cards for guidance considering these energies let's see what we can discover wisdom of the oracle deck first and then we will move to the activation we got four cards here we go message in a bottle communication it can be uh, driven by the page of wands as a funny way to interact with each other the fates number 17 kind of star energy of course a wish granted between words and we have the word as a meaningful factor in this flow a transition indeed this can be true for the two of you maybe for slightly different reasons but we move from a clouded situation kind of an eight of swords one towards something brighter more auspicious all that glitters this is an energy that is an encouragement to pay attention because it can be about the fact that sometimes things are not exactly how they seem this can be a lesson about the past maybe some of you and some of your persons were involved in situations or connections that were not exactly how you may have thought they should be or could be and you have learned some lesson kind of trusting your intuition deep knowing let's see the activation it's kind of like the two of you may share a common mindset um, experience related that can convince the two of you to get to know each other better and better so that you can understand the potential at the very least of this connection for more here we go patience a factor we have talked about it you are able to let the universal energy of transformation move according to its own loving rhythm patience powerful virtue it can make all the difference priorities you understand the paramount importance of manifesting love in all situations guys the things that we may desire to achieve the things that we are not interested in uh, factors in favor of a partnership and factors that we uh, prefer to avoid cause and effect makes sense you are aware that the love you create in your thoughts is an agent of change and the foundation of your results cause and effect can also resonate with the fact that a chapter closes itself and a new one can begin detachment releasing something that can be about the six of swords that we have seen the eight of swords or the four of pentacles you are releasing old patterns and ideas that no longer serve your highest ideals of love old ways of seeing and doing things that can be related to the old that glitters for example this is a major shift the world will take care of it and then there can be 
the opportunity to embrace a soulful decision towards new horizons that can allow this connection that seems to be lovely to move forward. Joy, bottom of the deck, quite an encouragement to close the reading. You delight in the love of life and bring a spirit of fun to all that you do. This can be a fun opportunity as a start. And then we see what it can become. So guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful. Let us know if you resonate. Comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you the best, guys. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.